Okay, welcome back, and this is our next question on factor theorem. So the second up question we said that came up, so it's, they ask us to verify that x is equal to 2 is a root of this equation here, okay? And then it asks us to find the other factors. So we'll look at the first bit first, and then we'll try and find the other factors. So the first thing is prove that this is a root, or verify that it's a root. Okay, so if it's a root, we know that it's, that if you write f of 2 is equal to 2 of cubed plus 6, 2 of squared minus 2 minus 30. So I'm not just subbing 2 in anywhere, I'm subbing it in wherever there was an x. See that there? Wherever there's an x, and it should be equal to 0. So I'm going to test that now. So that is going to be 8. That's going to give us 4. 6 by 4 is going to be 24. Be minus 2 and minus 30. 8 plus 24 is going to be 32, and minus 2 and minus 30 is going to be minus 32. So they'll all cancel, and they will give us 0. It's true. This implies that x equals to 2 is a root. Perfect. So we were right. Okay. Now we can run on with the next bit of the question and find the other factors, okay? So we go back up and get it. It's x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 30, okay? x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 30. And we're going to do long division here to get the other two factors. And x is equal to 2 as a root, so that means x minus 2 will be the factor. Okay, so we're going to divide this factor into our equation here, and we should get a quadratic equation up here, and then from that quadratic equation we can find two more factors. It's going to be three factors because it's x cubed, it's x, a polynomial of degree 3, if you want to say the fancy way, but since it's x cubed, there's going to be three factors and three roots, okay? This is one factor, we're going to find the other two factors up here. Okay, so long division, we're going to run through this. If you're unclear on long division, look at the other video on long division, and we'll explain it in more detail. So we're going to get x squared above here, and we're going to get x cubed minus 2x, ooh, that should be squared. Okay, I'm going to change colour for this. Minus and plus. So then we're going to get back to green. So that's going to be 0 plus 8x squared minus x. Okay, x into plus 8x squared is going to be plus 8x. Multiply that out, we're going to be getting 8x squared minus 16x. Again, I'm going to change this to red. We're going to be minus plus back to green. Don't go too far down. Okay, it's going to be 0 plus 15x minus 30. X into 15 is going to be, again, it's going to be just plus 15. And multiply 15 by x minus 2 again. We're going to have 15x minus 30. One last red. Minus plus zero. Okay, so we know that x again, that's, that proves again that x minus 2 is a factor because zero is our remainder, there's no remainder, so that means x minus 2 is a factor. And this thing here is going to give us our other two factors of this uh, cubic equation. So we'll go in blue. Let's see, is there enough space? Probably not. Okay, I'm going to squeeze this in the side. So we're going to get the factors of x squared plus 8x. I'm going to just fix that x there. plus 15, okay? 8x squared plus 8x plus 15, so we need to find the factors of 15 that give us 8x, so they're going to be 5 and 3 in this case, because if you add 5 and 3, you're going to get uh, 8x, and that's our answer here, so our three factors so are x minus 2, x plus 5, and x plus 3. Okay, so that's our whole question answered, thank you for watching.